Hello, today I'm fighting Grim, and I'm terrified of Dragapult Amoongus. I spent like two hours prepping for Dragapult Amoongus with drops. Last time I beat it with Icy Wind Shenanigans with uh, uh, Swampert and Safety Goggles on Arcanine, and I don't believe either of those methods are going to work because I believe he's going to be Clear Body instead of Infiltrator this time, which the Intimidate and the Icy Wind were paramount to how I beat it last time. So, we've got Tapu Lele Espeon, it's a Scarf Lele, it's a Sash Espeon, it doesn't kill it, it leaves it at like 1% on a damage roll every single time. It has the potential to kill it, but it never kills it. I'm probably still leading this game one. Then we got Arcanine, Intimidate Citrus Berry. No, not Safety Goggles, because that's for the plan. We have Intimidate, Citrus Berry, Arcanine, good defensive pivot, it's max attack, it's got some speed, it's faster than Gyarados, faster than Moltres, and it's just a good Intimidate switch in, I like it. We have the trusty Stack Attacka, he is going to beat up the Ice Horse and Trick Room, he's going to be a fallback plan for max when I do that Lele Espeon lead. And by fallback, I mean I'm just maxing it, no trick room, it's just going to do its best. And then we have the plan. The meme that we live or die by. This is how I win or I lose the match, and it's not looking like a good match, we're getting desperate. But we have Driftblim Grimmsnarl. Now, that is a safety, gog safety goggles Driftblim, and it knows Gyro Ball and Ally Switch. But Gyro Ball is the thing you have to look for, because this Grimmsnarl is weakness policy pickpocket. That means when I gyro ball the Grim Snarl, it's going to steal the safety goggles plus proc weakness policy at the same time. If he's doing any Amoongus setup, this is going to destroy it. And that is the hope. We live or die by the memes in this game. So, other than that, Dragapult Amoongus was a nightmare in planning. Hopefully this goes well. Alright, good luck, have fun, Grim. He has exactly what I expected, and I'm terrified of it. The question is, does he try to Ice Horse Game 1 and I lead with Driftblim Grim Snarl, or does he try to um, Dragapult me Game 1? I think I'm going to save the Drifflim Grimmsnarl for game two. Oh, I kind of just want to bring it out, though. What is he leading? He has Trick Room. He has Gyarados and... How do I want to play? I'm actually going to lead with it straight off. So this lead into Dragapult Amoongus, if he doesn't lead Dragapult game 1, I'm in a very good spot, I think. This lead into Dragapult Amoongus can kind of backfire if he does um Dragapult into Driftblim right off the bat. Dragapult Moltres. I can safely say I never expected this lead. So now what is he planning on doing? Oh, I don't like this. I don't think my drift pump's fast enough. But this Dragapult isn't protected.
And if I can get a special defense drop on Moltres... He's not maxing! Is it Phantom Force? He's insane. This man is insane. That's go gonna bring it to Sash. I believe. It's not Sash. It's a support pole. Okay, we have safety goggles on the Grim Snarl. So we can't bring out a Mungus for redirection. Gyarados, he's just intimidate burning it. It's only plus one and burnt. Is it better to try to get up, um... I took off Icy Wind on this set. I wonder if it's long. I think I want to go second this turn, so I'm going to will o -Wisp. He didn't max again, which means he's going for Fiery Wrath, and he's going for a Glass Shear cleanup. It taunted! Okay, so we're weakness policy on the Moltres. Does Shadow Ball even KO that? It's hilarious that I have to ask this question, but does Shadow Ball even KO that? Does Shadow Ball do like 5 damage? So it's gonna be hilarious if it doesn't. Alright. Never expected to get a gyro ball cab. Bounce shouldn't do that much. Grim just messaged me saying he timed out, which is really unfortunate, and I believe it. It is a Moongus. He didn't bring Glass Shear. My Tonic's still.
Well, I don't think I can lose at this point. That's the good news. Yeah, I'm still taunted. Okay. I was trying to remember how to check that. I'm gonna Darkest Lariat into Amoongus. I don't want to attack into Bounce. He probably doesn't discover that I'm Scarf Lele. Oh, Big Amoongus! I love to see Big Amoongus! <laughs> it's hilarious, I love it! No bounce, probably waterfall. No, it is bounce. I just forgot Jar Driplin's fast. Alright! So we have successfully brought out the Grim Snarled. Oh my god, Amoongus! I'm kind of scared. We still taunted. We are. There's nothing to do but to lock into Psychic on Amoongus. No Max Guard. It has Poison though. I'm actually gonna... It is, it is okay, it is Anti-Psychic Berry. Oh, that's funny. Alright, and luckily we're going to be able to not reveal our blast Pokemon. I'm terrified of the Amoongus set. Alright. What is he doing next game? What is he going to lead in this next game? Do I bring the sim? I kind of feel like he wants to bring Musharna here. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm willing to just run this back, I think. I think I'm just gonna run it back. And see how he adapts.
Grimmsnarl really is the only max plan. Like, oh, my team has a viable max in Arcanine stack and Grimmsnarl, but since it's Scarf Lele and Sash Espeon, I don't really want to max those two. He didn't see the Scarf reveal, because, like, all Lele did was be faster and click Psychic, which is normal. He saw that it's not Life Orb, but that's it. So it's Taunt Moltres and Willow with Dragapult, and neither Max. But it's Taunt Nasty Plot 2 attacks, presumably, on Moltres. Gyarados Musharna. Does a plus one Grimmsnarl Loco? Do it again. He has to know exactly what's coming, but minus one isn't enough for me to feel threatened by it. I don't believe Gyarados can KO. Good to see Bounce. We take Bounce. Okay, the Trick Room is going up. I can still burn Glass here if that's about to come out. If it's Moltres or Dragapult, I can safely attack into it with Tailwind. If it's Amoongus with Spore... I'm still gonna Max Dark into it. be a bit of an asshole and let him know he gets to play mind games. If he spores into Driftblim to try and make this thing worthless and strand it, then he's going to be sporing into safety goggles. I'm going to use protect. That is smart because it's the only thing he can do. Okay, no para. I could have attacked into Gyarados there. I should have. We've revealed the entire moveset of this. I'm going to Tailwind and attack into Gyarados. Once again, I have Psychic in the back, so I don't need to worry about Amoongus. I should have actually attacked into Gyarados last turn. I think it was a free KO. I think that was a misplay. I, my mind sees Amoongus and just wants to get rid of it immediately, but I could have dealt with that really easily. If he brought Musharna, he definitely has Glassure, and he's going to want to max Glassure. That I say that as he maxes Gyarados. Oh, maybe I should have burned it then. I know it's not Lum. I 
Thunderbolt on Lele. Okay, I couldn't burn it. The Scarados is minus two now. Am I faster than a plus one Gyarados? The answer is no. I do not live it. It's unfortunate. How do I beat... So I'm assuming Glacier is in the back. Plus two is double. I'm in Tailwind, so Espeon should be faster, correct? Because if Espeon is faster, my play is always expanding for Psychic. With any luck, Expanding Force should take out two KOs before it goes here. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Tailwind, so I should be faster than Gyarados, and that's minus special defense on that Gyarados. Okay, now we have a Glass Year with no max. And I'm still t I have a Focus Sash on Lele, or on Espeon, and we're in- there's no way this thing should be able to survive Psychic Spam and Psychic Terrain. Even if it's AV. Which it might be AV. I don't- I didn't see Gyarados item. It could be Life Orb? I- I- I never really hit the Gyarados with special attacks to check if it was AV. I guess if he has Protect, he can try to stall out the Psychic Terrain. But it's a lot of turns. Alright, I think that did too much. 
Infinity Force is harder than that. GG! GG World played to Grim. I was terrified of it. I'm sorry you timed out in game one. But GG well played. I love the fact that that Grim Snarl worked. I love it so much. <laughs>